The Supreme Court will not take up the appeal of R. Kelly. The highest court today declined to hear the case from the music star who is currently in prison for sex crimes. Kelly told the Supreme Court that he was wrongly prosecuted. Now, the court does have several other high profile cases on the docket for the start of its term in fall. On Monday, justices let stand a lower court decision saying Texas hospitals cannot be required to provide emergency abortions that violate state law. That is a blow to an appeal by the Biden administration. The nation's highest court will hear arguments tomorrow in a case about whether federal, the federal government can regulate untraceable firearms known as ghost guns. It's not a Second Amendment case. It's, a, it's not a constitutional case. It's a case that deals with the power of the ATF, a federal agency, to issue a regulation that says we're going to treat ghost guns, those guns where you can get as an online kit, there's no serial number, there are no background checks. The ATF, a federal agency, tried to say we want to treat ghost guns the same as all other firearms under federal law, meaning you would need a serial number. You would need background checks. Later this year, the court is set to take up the controversial idea of medical transition treatment for transgender children. The high court could also be called to resolve any disputes stemming from the outcome of the presidential election.